part two of ajax by sophocles translated by lewis campbell eighteen thirty to nineteen o eight this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by expatriate in bangor maine part two ajax ay me could human thought have prophesied my name would thus give echo to mine ill i now for ayas doubly trebly said sorts all too well to mark my misery whose father from this land of troy as noblest of all the host carrying the fairest prize came girt about with glory to his home but i his son not less of might than he nor poorer in the achievements of my hand to this same region following in my prime am scouted by the achaeans and destroyed yet know i one thing well had peleus child living adjudged his armour as a meed of well-tried bravery no hand save mine had grasped it but the atriade with mean craft conveyed his heirloom to a wit-proud knave whilst ajax peerless prowess was despised and had not this mine eye and mind distraught glanced from my purpose ne'er again had they perverted judgment but the invincible stern daughter of the highest with baneful eye even as mine arm descended baffled me and hurled upon my soul a frenzied plague to stain my hand with these dumb victims blood and those mine enemies exult in safety not with my will but where a god misguides strong arms are thwarted and the weakling lives now what remains heaven hates me tis too clear the grecian host abhor me troy with all this country round our camp is my sworn foe shall i across the aegean sailing home leave these atriadae and their fleet forlorn how shall i dare to front my father's eye how will he once endure to look on me denuded of the prize of high renown whose coronal stood sparkling on his brow no twere too dreadful then shall i advance before the trojan battlements and there in single conflict doing valiantly last die upon their spears nay for by this i might perchance make atreus offspring glad that may not be imagined i must find some act to let my grey-haired father feel no heartless recreant once called him sire shame on the white who when beset with ill cares to live on in misery unrelieved can our outlasting hour make less or more of death whereby then can it furnish joy that mortal weighs for nothing worth with me whom hope can comfort with her fruitless fire honour in life or honour in the grave befits the noble heart you hear my will chorus from thine own spirit ajax all may tell that utterance came and none have prompted thee yet stay thy hurrying thought and by thy friends be ruled to loose this burden from thy mind tecmessa o my great master heaviest of all woe is theirs whose life is crushed beyond recall i born of one the mightiest of the free and wealthiest in the phrygian land am now a captive so heaven willed and thy strong arm determined therefore since the hour that made my being one with thine i breathe for thee and i beseech thee by the sacred fire of home and by the sweetness of the night when from my captor thou becamest my friend leave me not guardless to the unworthy touch and cruel taunting of thine enemies for shouldst thou die and leave us then shall i borne off by argive violence with thy boy eat from that day the bread of slavery and some one of our lords shall smite me there with galling speech behold the concubine of ajax first of all the greeks for might how envied once worn with what service now so will they speak and while my quailing heart shall sink beneath its burden clouds of shame will dim thy glory and degrade thy race oh think but of thy father left to pine in doleful age and let thy mother's grief who long bowed down with many a careful year prays oftentimes thou mayst return alive or awe thee yea and pity thine own son unsheltered in his boyhood reft of thee with bitter foes to tend his orphanhood think o my lord what sorrow in thy death thou send'st on him and me for i have naught to lean to but thy life my fatherland thy spear hath ruined fate not thou hath sent my sire and mother to the home of death what wealth have i to comfort me for thee what land of refuge thou art all my stay o oh, of me too take thought shall men have joy and not remember 
or shall kindness fade say can the mind be noble where the stream of gratitude is withered from the spring chorus ajax i would thy heart were touched like mine with pity then her words would win thy praise ajax my praise she shall not miss if she perform my bidding with firm heart and fail not here Tecmessa, dear ajax i will fail in naught thou bidst me ajax bring me my boy that i may see his face Tecmessa, oh in my terror i conveyed him hence ajax clear of this mischief meanst thou or for what Tecmessa, lest he might run to thee poor child and die ajax that issue had been worthy of my fate Tecmessa, but i kept watch to fence his life from harm ajax was wisely done i praise thy foresight there Tecmessa, well since tis so how can i help thee now ajax give me to speak to him and see him near Tecmessa, he stands close by with servants watching him ajax then why doth he not come but still delay Tecmessa, boy father calls for thee come lead him hither whichever of you holds him by the hand ajax moves he or do thine accents idly fall Tecmessa, see where thy people bring him to thine eye ajax lift him to me lift him he will not fear at sight of this fresh havoc of the sword if by a true descent he is my son like some young colt he must be trained and taught to run fierce courses with his warrior sire be luckier than thy father boy but else be like him and thy life will not be low one thing even now i envy thee that none of all this misery pierces to thy mind for life is sweetest in the void of sense ere thou know joy or sorrow but when this hath found thee make thy father's enemies feel the great parent in the valiant child meantime grow on in tender youthfulness nursed by light breezes gladdening this thy mother no greek shall trample thee with brutal harm that i know well though i shall not be near so stout a warder to protect thy life i leave in teucros he'll not fail though now he follow far the chase upon his foes my trusty warriors people of the sea to you i give this charge no less and tell to him my message that he take this boy home to my fatherland and make him known to telamon and arabia too my mother let him tend them in their age and for mine armour let not that be made the award of grecian umpires or of him who ruined me but thou named of the shield eurysakes hold mine the unpierceable seven-hided buckler and by the well-stitched thong grasp firm and wield it mightily the rest shall lie where i am buried take him now quickly and close the door no tears what weep before the tent how women crave for pity make fast i say no wise physician dreams with droning charms to salve a desperate sore chorus there sounds a vehement ardour in thy words that likes me not i fear thy sharpened tongue Tecmessa, ajax my lord what act is in thy mind ajax inquire not question not be wise thou art best Tecmessa, how my heart sinks o oh, by thy child by heaven i pray thee on my knees forsake us not ajax thou troublest me what knowst thou not that heaven hath ceased to be my debtor from to-day Tecmessa, hush speak not so ajax speak thou to those that hear Tecmessa, will you not hear me ajax canst thou not be still Tecmessa, my fears my fears ajax to the attendants come shut me in i say Tecmessa, oh yet be softened ajax tis a foolish hope if thou deem'st now to mould me to thy will ajax is withdrawn exit Tecmessa. chorus strophe one island of glory whom the glowing eyes of all the wondering world immortalize thou salamis art planted evermore happy amid the wandering billows roar while i ah woe the while this weary time by the green wold where flocks from ida stray lie worn with countless hours of wasted prime hoping ah cheerless hope to win my way where hades horrid gloom shall hide me from the day 
antistrophe one ajax is with me yea but crouching low where heaven-sent madness haunts his overthrow beyond my cure or tendance woeful plight whom thou erewhile to head the impetuous fight sent forth thy conquering champion now he feeds his spirit on lone paths and on us brings deep sorrow and all his former peerless deeds of prowess fall like unremembered things from atreus loveless brood this caitiff brace of kings strophe two ah when his mother full of days and bowed with hoary eld shall hear his ruined mind how will she mourn aloud not like the warbler of the dale the bird of piteous wail but in shrill strains far borne upon the wind while on the withered breast and thin white hair falls the resounding blow the rending of despair antistrophe two best hid in death were he whom madness drives remediless if through his father's race born to the noblest place among the war-worn greeks he lives by his own light no more self alien from the self he knew before o hapless sire what woe thine ear shall wound one that of all thy line no life save this hath found enter ajax with a bright sword and tecmessa severally ajax what change will never terminable time not heave to light what hide not from the day what chance shall win men's marvel mightiest oaths fall frustrate and the steely tempered will i and even mine that stood so diamond keen like iron lately dipped droops now disedged and weakened by this woman whom to leave a widow with her orphan to my foes dulls me with pity i will go to the baths and meadows near the cliff and purging there my dark pollution i will screen my soul from reach of pallas grievous wrath i will find some place untrodden and digging of the soil where none shall see will bury this my sword weapon of hate for death and night to hold evermore underground for since my hand had this from hector mine arch enemy no kindness have i known from argive men so true that saying of the bygone world a foe's gift is no gift and brings no good well we will learn of time henceforth i bow to heavenly ordinance and give homage due to atreus sons who rules must be obeyed since naught so fierce and terrible but yields place to authority wild winter's snows make way for bounteous summer's flowery tread and night's sad orb retires for lightsome day with his white steeds to illumine the glad sky the furious storm-blast leaves the groaning sea gently to rest yea the old subduer sleep frees whom he binds nor holds in chain for a and shall not men be taught the temperate will yea for i know now surely that my foe must be so hated as being like enough to prove a friend hereafter and my friend with friendship i will so far serve as one not always to be with me men have found but treacherous harbour in companionship our ending then is peaceful thou my girl go in and pray the gods my heart's desire be all fulfilled my comrades join her here honouring my wishes and if teucer come bid him toward us be mindful kind toward you i must go whither i must go do ye but keep my word and ye may learn though now be my dark hour that all with me is well exit towards the country tecmessa retires chorus strophe a shudder of love thrills through me joy i soar o pan wild pan they dance come from kyllene hoar come from the snowdrift the rock ridge the glen leaving the mountain bare fleet through the salt sea air mover of dances to gods and to men whirl me in knossian way thrid me the nysian maze come while the joy of the dance is my care thou too apollo come bright from thy delian home bringer of day fly o'er the southward main here in our hearts to reign love to repose there and kindly to stay antistrophe horror is past our eyes have rest from pain o lord of heaven they dance now blithesome day again purely may smile on our swift sailing fleet since all his woe forgot ajax now faileth not aught that of prayer and heaven worship is meet time bringeth mighty aid naught but in time doth fade nothing shall move me as strange to my thought 
ajax our lord hath now cleared his wrath burdened brow long our despair cease from his angry feud and with mild heart renewed peace and good will to the high sceptred pair enter messenger messenger friends my first news is two cross presence here fresh from the mysian heights who as he came right toward the general's quarter was assailed with outcry from the argives in a throng for when they knew his motion from afar they swarmed around him and with shouts of blame from each side one and all assaulted him as brother to the man who had gone mad and plotted against the host threatening aloud spite of his strength with stones to pound him dead so far strife ran that swords unscabbarded crossed blades till as it mounted to the height age interposed with counsel and it fell but where is ajax to receive my word tidings are best told to the rightful ear chorus not in the hut but just gone forth preparing new plans to suit his newly altered mind messenger alas too tardy then was he who sped me forth this way or i too slow a messenger chorus wherein what point is lacking for this need messenger teucro was resolute the man should bide close held within doors till himself should come chorus why sure his going took the happiest turn and wisest to propitiate heaven's high wrath messenger the height of folly lives in such discourse if calchas have the wisdom of a seer chorus what knows he of our state what saith he tell messenger i can tell only what i heard and saw whilst all the chieftains in the atriadi twain were seated in a ring calchas alone rose up and left them and in teucro's palm laid his right hand full friendly then out spake with strict injunction by all means in the world to keep beneath yon covert this one day your hero and not suffer him to rove if he would see him any more alive for through this present light and ne'er again holy athena so he said will drive him before her anger such calamitous woe strikes down the unprofitable growth that mounts beyond his measure and provokes the sky thus ever said the prophet must he fall who in man's mould hath thoughts beyond a man and ajax ere he left his father's door made foolish answer to his prudent sire my son said telamon choose victory always but victory with an aid from heaven how loftily how madly he replied father with heavenly help men nothing worth may win success but i am confident without the gods to pluck this glory down so huge the boast he vaunted and again when holy pallas urged him with her voice to hurl his deadly spear against the foe he turned on her with speech of awful sound goddess by other greeks take thou thy stand where i keep rank the battle ne'er shall break such words of pride beyond the mortal scope have won him pallas wrath unlovely mead but yet perchance so be it he live to-day we with heaven's succour may restore his peace thus far the prophet when immediately teucro dispatched me ere the assembly rose bearing to thee this missive to be kept with all thy care but if my speed be lost and calchas word have power the man is dead chorus o trouble-tossed tecmessa born to woe come forth and see what messenger is here this news bites near the bone a death to joy enter tecmessa tecmessa wherefore again when sorrow's cruel storm was just abating break ye my repose chorus pointing to the messenger hear what he saith and how he comes to bring news of our ajax that hath torn my heart tecmessa o me what is it man am i undone messenger thy case i know not but of ajax this that if he roam abroad tis dangerous tecmessa he is indeed abroad oh tell me quickly messenger tis teucro's strong command to keep him close beneath this roof nor let him range alone tecmessa but where is teucro and what means his word messenger even now at hand and eager to make known that ajax if he thus go forth must fall tecmessa alas my misery whence learned he this messenger from thestor's prophet offspring who to-day holds forth to ajax choice of life or death tecmessa woe's me o friends this desolating blow is falling o stand forward to prevent and some bring teucro with more haste while some explore the western bays and others search 
eastward to find your hero's fatal path for well i see i am cheated and cast forth from the old favour child what shall i do looking at eurysakes we must not stay i too will fare along so far as i have power come let us go bestir ye tis no moment to sit still if we would save him who now speeds to die chorus i am ready come fidelity of foot and swift performance shall approve me true exeunt omnes the scene changes to a lonely wooded spot ajax discovered alone the sacrificer stands prepared and when more keen let me take time for thinking too this gift of hector whom of foreign men i hated most with heart and eyes is set in hostile trojan soil with grinding hone new edged and here embedded by my care thus firm to give me swift and friendly death fine instrument so much for thee then first thou for tis meet great father give thine aid for no great gift i sue thee send one hither to carry to cross the ill news that he may first uplift me freshly fallen in death upon my bleeding sword ere i be spied by some of those who hate me and be flung to dogs and vultures for an outcast prey so far i entreat thee lord of heaven and thou hermes conductor of the shadowy dead speed me to rest and when with this sharp steel i have cleft a sudden passage to my heart at one swift bound waft me to painless slumber but most be ye my helpers awful powers who know no blandishments but still perceive all wicked deeds in the world strong swift and sure avenging furies understand my wrong see how my life is ruined and by whom come raven on achaean flesh spare none rage through the camp last thou that drivest thy course up yon steep heaven thou son when thou behold'st my fatherland tightening thy golden rein report my fall and this my fatal end to my old sire and the poor soul who tends him ah hapless one when she shall hear this word how she will make the city ring with woe twere from the business idly to condole to work then and dispatch o death o death now come and welcome yet with thee hereafter i shall find close communion where i go but unto thee fresh beam of shining day and thee thou travelling sun-god i may speak now and no more for ever o fair light o sacred fields of salamis my home thou firm-set natal hearth athens renowned and ye her people whom i love o rivers brooks fountains here yea even the trojan plain i now invoke kind fosterers farewell this one last word from ajax peals to you henceforth my speech will be with souls unseen falls on his sword chorus re-entering severally chorus a toil upon toil brings toil and what save trouble have i which path have i not tried and never a place arrests me with its tail hark lo again a sound chorus b tis we the comrades of your good ship's crew chorus a well sirs chorus b we have trodden all the westward curve of the bay chorus a well have ye found chorus b troubles e now but not to inform our sight chorus a nor yet along the road that fronts the dawn is any sign of ajax to be seen strophe chorus who then will tell me who what hard sea liver what toiling fisher in his sleepless quest what heaven-born nymph what oozy thracian river hath seen our wanderer of the tameless breast where tell me where tis hard that i far toiling voyager crossed by some evil wind cannot the haven find nor catch his form that flies me where ah where tecmessa behind oh woe is me woe woe chorus a who cries there from the covert of the grove tecmessa oh boundless misery chorus b steeped in this audible sorrow i behold tecmessa poor fate burdened bride of war tecmessa friends i am spoiled lost ruined overthrown chorus a what ails thee now tecmessa see where our ajax lies but newly slain fallen on his sword concealed within the ground chorus 
woe for my hopes of home ajax my lord thou hast slain thy ship companion on the salt sea foam alas for us and thee child of calamity Tecmessa. so lies our fortune well mayst thou complain chorus a whose hand employed he for the deed of blood Tecmessa. his own tis manifest this planted steel fixed by his hand gives verdict from his breast chorus woe for my fault my loss thou hast fallen in blood alone and not a friend to cross or guard thee i deaf senseless as a stone left all undone o oh, where then lies the stern ajax of saddest name whose purpose none might turn tecmessa no eye shall see him i will veil him round with this all-covering mantle since no heart that loved him could endure to view him there with ghastly expiration spouting forth from mouth and nostrils in the deadly wound the gore of his self-slaughter ah oh, my lord what shall i do what friend will carry thee oh where is teucer timely were his hand might he come now to smooth his brother's course o oh, thou most noble here ignobly laid even enemies methinks must mourn thy fate antistrophe chorus ah twas too clear thy firm-knit thoughts would fashion early or late an end of boundless woe such heaving groans such bursts of heart-bruised passion midnight and morn bewrayed the fire below the atreidae might beware a plenteous fount of pain was opened there what time the strife was set wherein the noblest met grappling the golden prize that kindled thy despair Tecmessa woe woe is me chorus deep sorrow rings thy soul i know it well Tecmessa oh woe 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 chorus thou mayst prolong thy moan and be believed thou that hast lately lost so true a friend Tecmessa thou mayst imagine tis for me to know chorus ay ay tis true Tecmessa alas my child what slavish tasks and hard we are drifting to what eyes control our will chorus i me through thy complaint i hear the wordless blow of two high throned who rule without restraint of pity heaven forfend what evil they intend Tecmessa, the work of heaven hath brought our life thus low chorus tis a sore burden to be laid on men Tecmessa, yet such the mischief zeus resistless made pallas hath planned to make odysseus glad chorus o'er that dark-featured soul what waves of pride shall roll what floods of laughter flow rudely to greet this madness prompted woe alas from him who all things dares endure and from that lordly pair who hear and seat them sure Tecmessa. i let them laugh and revel o'er his fall perchance albeit in life they missed him not dead they will cry for him in straits of war for dullards know not goodness in their hand nor prize the jewel till tis cast away to me more bitter than to them twas sweet his death to him was gladsome for he found the lot he longed for his self-chosen doom what cause have they to laugh heaven not their crew hath glory by his death then let odysseus insult with empty pride to him and his ajax is nothing but to me to me he leaves distress and sorrow in his room to cross within alas undone leader of chorus hush that was to cross cry methought i heard his voice salute this object of dire woe enter to cross end of part two recording by expatriate in bangor maine